Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Myog Monday. Well, I'm not releasing this on Monday, but I still like to call them Myog Mondays once in a while. <laughs> and today, we're going to be servicing and modifying this Miltech uh, West German copy of a West German uh, Army shovel. We'll need a few simple tools. You can either use a multi-tool, as long as you have a Phillips head screwdriver and a large flat bit screwdriver, like we do on this uh, Swiss tool. Alternately, if you don't have a large screwdriver, a coin to fit in this slot right here. See that? And grease of your choice. I got some white lithium grease here that I'm going to use in the joint. I think that'll be fine. So let's get started. First things first. There is this uh, pin assembly right here that is part of this joint. But the first thing we want to do is we want to open this side right here which will give us access to the spring. Now look at that. I didn't even have to put a lot of force on that. And I'm just doing that with a penny. See if I can, yep, I can turn it now. Now when you're taking this off, you wanna be careful, because when you get to the end of the threads, the spring is gonna wanna launch this. So you wanna, keep a good grip on it there we go and there we go so you have this spring you have oh look at all the rust on the inside of that cap look at that and you have this little lock washer so those are our internal pieces next you want to go with a Phillips head screwdriver right here to this pin <laughs> that was loose okay and we want to remove this pin and that's a brass pin then just come up here push it like you normally would but keep wiggling it and we want to uh, sorry I had to pull it off camera to get enough leverage on it and there's all the pieces. Let me give you a close-up of this. So there is the main assembly. It's got rust on it. Looks like there's a little bit of rust. Let me get a flashlight so I can show you. Looks like there's a not too much rust inside, but uh, that's all right. We're going to put grease on all of this. Yeah. Yep, this is, this is the part that's pretty rusty. Look at that. Pretty rusty, pretty rusty. Okay. Next, you want to take some steel wool or light sandpaper and kind of remove this rust. And, ooh, there's some gunk there. Look at that, just from touching it. We want to get all the rust out of here, 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 and off this. So I'm going to do that real quick off camera and bring you back for the next step. I sanded the surfaces. I sanded inside. I just used some 240 grit sandpaper just to knock the corrosion and everything off and smooth this a little bit. Same thing, you know, I just knocked stuff off went inside nothing too serious this one I did a lot more on because there was a lot more uh, corrosion on the inside here and on the inside here and on the outsides of the pick and then I just did enough on this to knock the corrosion off and smooth it a little bit there was some machining marks on here and I tried to clean some of the corrosion up on this guy so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put some grease on this now and we're going to try not to make too much of a mess. <laughs> Notice I said too much. There we go. And I'll just take a little bit of this white lithium grease. I'm going to put it all over there. And I'm going to put some here. And I'm going to need some more. There we go. Now I'm going to put some inside. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, see that? I'm getting it everywhere. I'm just kind of working it all over these surfaces. Okay. Next, I'm going to get the pick piece here ready. And that's the same thing. I'm going to get some inside, outside, all that. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, and we can go ahead and place that on there. I'm going to hang it over the edge of the table here so I don't get no grease on everything. And I'm getting grease everywhere, ain't I? <laughs> okay, we need some on the inside here of this. There we go. So I'm doing on both inside surfaces here, around here. And of course, I'm making a big dang mess, which I didn't want to do, but hey, would it be one of my Myogs without a mess? Okay. And okay. So that's all semi together. Now for this piece, I'm going to shoot some inside. Put my thumb over that hole so I don't squirt it everywhere. All right, because I want some to leak out and on this joint as it's worked. All right, here we go. Now, when you put this back together, make sure that this slot is facing that pinhole. Kind of like this. I can do this. Okay. There we go. So I got that back together. Now, insert this spring. Oops, forget that. You gotta put this pin in first, my bad. So we'll put that pin in. I wanna make sure. Okay, so we're gonna put this spring in. Okay, we're going to put this lock washer over this threaded cap. Make sure that that spring is on the inside of the cap and push it down and then try to thread it in. Let's see if I can get this. I might have to go off camera here just to get the angle right because this thing is fighting me. I'm gonna have to go off camera for a minute. I'll be right back. It took me a few tries, but I finally got it back in and got it turning. 
So now we can come in here with a coin or your flathead screwdriver and tighten this down. Now the nice thing is this grease, once I clean up all the excess, is going to pretty much stay in that joint and lubricate this and preserve it from rusting, which it seemed to be already doing a lot of rusting. Now it does seem to turn now. Everything seems to turn a lot easier. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, let me clean all this mess up. I'll bring you right back. I got it. Um, I'll wipe down. There's a little excess grease poking out here and there. Not a big deal. But now it's just butter smooth how it operates. I mean, a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of uh, elbow grease, and that, uh, that tool there is ready for use. So that pretty much completes this Myog. Uh, mainly did this because I couldn't find a breakdown of one of these shovels anywhere online. So I decided to make one. So if somebody else out there has one of these shovels and maybe this action here is froze up, they can't push the button. And it shows you how to disassemble it. I would give this side here a light tap with a rubber mallet. Once you've removed this pin, removed this cap and pulled the spring out and you can probably get it apart and do what I did with some sandpaper and a little bit of work, grease it up, put it back in service. Very, very simple. So that's all I got to say, folks. Thank you for joining me for this Myog. I will see you later on, maybe working on a shovel somewhere. Thank you for watching.